This is my son Manuel Dama. Uh, I'm gonna explore a little bit today uh, the total position. That's one of the, the positions that I like to attack, especially when I work my passes. And I don't give a lot of options except you know his turn from the knees and then try to regard from there. So we're gonna explore a little bit this this situation today. All right. Uh, as soon as I get in this position, I like to first of all uh, look for the the, the, the hips. So, to have a better control of the hips, I have to try to focus on my chest, on the top of the hips, and then bring his hips all the way to the ground. Uh, I'm gonna have a better result as well if I keep my knees on the mat. If I take my knees off the mat, I start losing a little bit of my pressure from my hips. So, what I do, I bring the pressure all the way down, block his hips to don't move up and down anymore with my chest, and my knees is always square in his body. My hands, always I like to apply on the beginning, my hands inside of his arm. Just to eventually when I start walking and blocking him against, maybe, you know, move around and go to, to my leg locks. My hands, there's always the standing grip. It's like this, and whenever I start moving, always I feel to another hand. One thing that always I like to focus on, whenever I feel this hand to the other, is going to be my elbow. My elbow is always stretched right beside of his hips. My hand before they start walking, I like to block the arm as well to don't let his pose and base himself. Always when I'm gonna work on the side, I'm gonna have two options. Sometimes I'm gonna work upper body, sometimes I'm gonna work uh, on the low body. Let's talk about the low body first. So what I like to do, I'm gonna block, step my knee beside of his knee. In this point, I'm already gonna pick up my leg to approach his hips on the top of my hips whenever I start moving to the side. So that's gonna be always my first option. I'm gonna move to the side, and for him I'm already gonna see what he's gonna do. Uh, most of the time, whenever I move myself to the side, if my knees it's on the ground, he's gonna keep moving to face me, and that's what I expect for that. So, first thing first, my elbow beside up. His hips are gonna block, now I'm gonna start moving his hips to the side. That's what I'm looking for. So whenever I get in this position, or he's gonna fire him to get back his knee, or he's gonna accept the side control. Easy one first, he's gonna accept the side control. Move my body around. Always when I finish, I like to keep my knees beside up his back to he's never completely flat his body in the ground. My elbow is always across off his body, my hands is still connect over there. My chest is connect on the tricep because from here right away I can slide and apply my wrist lock. Sometimes he's really strong, he's gonna lift his body and shift it to flat his body down. Whenever he does this, I keep my wrist control, I start step my right knee on the top of his leg, my left leg is gonna be off the mat and the nice thing is I'm gonna finish with this position. Whenever I get him making sure my hip is always gonna be off the mat, like a running escape you know position of my leg to have a better result. So once again my knees is always connect over there my chest over so I'm gonna hold my elbow and my arm. I'm gonna block and shift it to the side. I'm gonna keep it driving until we have in this position number one. Go to the wrist lock, if he's moving, I'm gonna follow his moving and then finish with the middle hand. Really important. The position of my legs, the position of his legs, always between of my legs. That's always gonna be my first option for that. Um, what else happening when I do this? Same grip, the same approach. I'm gonna block, I'm gonna move and drive his hips. Now, I don't, I, I don't have the full up control of the arm. I'm gonna try fight back to move to the other side because that's the only way that I give it to him. Remember, I still have his lapel across. So the moment that he touch his hand on the ground, my left hand is already the other lapel. So I'm gonna just move my hand to the top of the lapel to the first grip. My body always I connect and slide behind up his neck, and then running with my hips on the ground. I'm gonna keep moving to finish on the clock choke. So, uh, just so you guys 
see a lot of people better uh, my control is always the same always I'm gonna block and then I'm gonna drive I never go up you see I move towards to the hips so I'm not his base I'm gonna go straight to the collar and then I move my chest behind of his leg keep him moving with my hips off the ground until I completely my choke so that is the two most common situations that I apply from the total position all right uh, what else I I like to, to do, explore from the total position. Sometimes I see a good opening and a good way to explore my hooks inside. Uh, everybody asks me what's, when I decide to go up or low. Uh, pretty much for me, it's gonna be the position of his elbow, all right? Uh, if I wanna switch the grips to the other hand, and whenever I start moving to the side, if, his have his knee connect to the uh, his elbow connect to the knee. I never gonna go up because most of the time you're gonna keep hiding his neck. You're gonna be hard to attack the neck. So always go sideways. If I mean he his fight against this and move his elbow up, that's when I'm gonna go to the up body. So see what I do. I'm gonna move my knee and keep it between of the gap that he's giving me the beginning. You see, my knees always connect inside. Now my right hand, before I start moving behind, I'm already gonna connect on the collar. So I'm already gonna start bringing pressure to the neck. What happens whenever you start attacking anybody's neck? He's not gonna even think as much about the legs. He's always gonna think about the neck. So that's what I expect for the point. So my left foot, I'm gonna start step over his leg and then I'm gonna lay in my side nice and easy and pivot his foot to me. Nice and easy, I'm gonna hook with my side leg first. My left leg is gonna take it off, then that's what I do. I move up my whole body and comfortable bring his between my leg. He step over my elbows already high. Nice and easy, I'm gonna connect my chest behind up with neck and finish with my toe. So, once again, and the other direction for you guys, see what I do with my over here, please. You guys see what I do with my leg. So I'm in here, right? So uh, I'm gonna hold and he's gonna move over. See what I do? I'm gonna connect. And then I go to the collar and then I go to, uh, uh, to the foot. I'm gonna pivot to me. My bottom hook away the connect first, you see? And then I take it off and move up my whole body. Now I'm gonna connect and then I see it finish with the choke. Uh, that's what I, I like to explore from, from the four points. Uh, I hope uh, the ideas you know, and, and, and the situations help you guys a little bit with you know, your problems. Sometimes is, you get in this position, you don't know what to do. So uh, I hope help you guys. Thank you very much.